Pajoli, Leadership Performance Life and Executive Coach. I'm wanting to remind you that 2024 isn't over. So if you're a person that set a goal or had a resolution that didn't follow through with it yet, there's still time for you to finish this year out powerfully. What is it that you need to do though? Is it hire someone, whether it's a trainer, dietitian, coach, peer, mentor, executive, stretch? Is it a tracker? Is it literally you either investing in an app or printing a tracker out and putting shit on your calendar and then crossing it off when you successfully do it? Is it setting a timer on your phone? Those are like the very practical things that will allow you to be held accountable. But accountability isn't why people fail. There's two main components as to why you get tripped up. One is that you're not connected to your why underneath your why. In the coaching world, we call this your motivating factor. You can want to lose weight so that you'll feel better, or you'll look better, but that's not deep enough. You need to think about how you're going to talk to yourself when you see yourself naked, how you'll feel in the bedroom, the confidence that you'll have in that boardroom when clothes fit you differently, what you'll be saying to yourself, what you'll believing, be believing about yourself, the things, places, and experiences that you're going to be able to have. So that's the first hiccup in why you don't do what you say you're going to do. The second thing is societal conditioning. A lot of people have goals and they think they need to attain, whether it's weight loss and uh, promotion in a career, having a kid, having this, that for assets. And it's like, you think that way because that's what society has led you to believe you need to have in order for you to be true to you. And oftentimes that's not the case. So getting really clear on why do you want what you want? What are the advantages and benefits of it? And then taking it deeper. When, or what accountability do you need? But then what beliefs are necessary? What discipline gets to be attributed to your day-to-day -day commitment to achieving this goal? And because the only thing that allows us to follow through with things is the pleasure, that's what motivates us, things that feel good. Think about how you'll feel when you crush your goal or your resolution, when you come back with two months left of this year and you reach your goal. You didn't need 12, you need two. So let's go. And when you get to that space, how will you feel? What will you be saying to yourself about yourself? What will others be saying to you? What will you be believing? What will be different? Because that's the version, that's the portion of your life and your identity that you wanna tap into so that it motivates you and allows you and encourages you to become disciplined in where you're going and what you're going to achieve. Shit doesn't happen overnight. Small, small hinges swing big doors. What are your small hinges? And let's go.